What's up, YouTube? And uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about mixing ethanol. So here I have my ethanol tester. I picked this exact one up on Amazon for about 25 bucks. Uh, the concept is really simple. So you will fill the water up to the line displayed on the tube, and then the rest uh, you fill up with ethanol. Um, so I already have water filled in my test tube, and I pumped a little bit of ethanol in this regulated bottle here. <laughs> and you're just going to fill it up to the top of the line. Uh, once you do that, you shake it up and let it rest for about a minute. And it should show a cloudy substance as the water separates, giving you a result of how pure the ethanol is. Um, so the reason for this is not all E85 pumps are actually E85, as they can be rated as low as 51. So it's good to test it just in case. Um, for those of you who are on a blend tune such as E30 or any mixture that isn't straight E85 ethanol, um, you want to make sure you have the correct rating to get as close to the blend you're tuned for. Um, it is safe to be rated low, so for instance if you're tuned for E30, it's okay to be E25 or E20 and um, so forth, um, but it's not safe to go over your target blend. So you know if you're tuned for E30, you don't want to be reaching E35 or E40. Um, so here, I know it's a little hard to see in the video, um, but there's a little line right there. Whoops. <laughs> Dropped it. Um, so yeah, there's a little line that you can see. Um, looks like this ethanol is above E85, which is always good. Um, looks like it's around E87, something like that. Um, so now that you have the uh, rating, you're going to go on your access port, and you should have a gauge la labeled fuel level input. So you see here, uh, sorry about the glare, uh, mine says 5.7, and I know it says 5 on the gauge, but I noticed that when entering this into the ethanol mix calculator, it always gives me an off result. So uh, a little trick is to add 10 to whatever it shows on the access port. So since mine said fuel level input is 5, uh, I'm going to put 15 into the ethanol mix calculator. And I'll show a picture or a screenshot of the calculator um, that I used, just so uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I used the calculator that's on Tune Plus's website. Um, if you could see, you just go to adamtune.com myshopify.com and uh, it's a free calculator so you know that's always nice um, under the gas tank size you can select uh, Ford Focus RS um, which shows 13.9 um, but I've had issues with this every time I put 13.9 um, and putting the actual fuel level percentage that shows on the access port it always gives me the wrong result so what the problem I was having is I was either um, putting in too much gas or and not enough ethanol or I would put in the ethanol first and then my tank would fill up before I had enough gas in it and you know as I mentioned earlier you don't want to be rating over your blend so um, I was a little nervous that I had too much ethanol in the tank um, so a little trick to mitigate this is just to put 13.5 for the gas tank size um, if you're in Focus RS and for the fuel level percentage, uh, you just want to add 10. So that's why I have 15, even though my access port said 5. And just to clarify um, the calculator options a little better, um, so the gasoline ethanol percentage is always going to be 10 unless it's stated. So most pumps are always going to be rated up to 10% ethanol. Um, there are some pumps that do state uh, ethanol free, uh, but for the most case, it's always going to be 10. So, um, so this box you're just going to put 10. Uh, E85 ethanol percentage is what we tested. Um, I know I put uh, the, I know it tested at 87, but it, I just put 85. Whatever, it it it's fine. Um, but you know, say it 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 rates lower, so, uh, you would put 70 and and so forth. Um, so I hope that didn't confuse you. Uh, I just put 80, 85 just because. Just 
Um, <laughs> so target ethanol mix is 30 because I'm on an E30 blend. Um, so that's what I'm trying to reach is 30, uh, 30 percent. And as I mentioned before, the uh, current fuel level percentage um, being 15, um, even though my access port said 5, um, you're going to want to add 10. So that's why I have 15 there. And the current ethanol mix is 30 because I, I already have E30 in my tank. Um, but if this was your first um, fill up, you would want to put 10 just because, like I said earlier, um, there's always going to be 10% ethanol in gasoline. Um, so if, if this is your very first fill up, um, you're going to put 10. Unless, 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 unless you are completely empty, you know, your, your gas tank is completely dry, then you can put zero. Um, and I couldn't really find this answer <laughs> when I was doing my first fill up, so I hope that help someone out that's doing it their first time. So end result, um, I added 3.06 gallons of E85 to my tank first, and then I added 8.42 gallons of um, 93 octane to make a resulting mix of 30%. So I hope this helps someone. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm pretty active now. <laughs> so um, I will respond to any and all comments, um, like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be trying to post a lot more videos, and happy boosting!